Hey guys, welcome back to my video. I am back from a little bit of a break that I took. Life happened, you guys. I've been super busy with some things that I will hope to update you guys soon on. But um, yeah, I'm back today to film my two month post-op um, video from VSG Surgery. Let's just jump in. I know you guys wanna know how much have I lost and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So at the beginning of my journey, I started off at 263 pounds. Surgery day, I was weighing in at 245 pounds. And as of today, I am weighing in at 210 pounds for a total loss of 53 pounds. So in my last video, I did mention to you guys that I was um, at a little bit of a stall. I was weighing in at about 225 for about three weeks with not a pound lost, um, not gaining, but not losing. And I was a daily weigher, which again, you should not do because once you do hit a little bit of a stall, which will happen, um, it is completely normal. But once you hit that stall, it does start to mess with you mentally. Um, so for about three weeks, I was weighing every day and again, nothing lost. So I was starting to get a little discouraged to the point where I just said to myself, I'm not going to weigh myself every day anymore. Um, I didn't weigh myself for about a week and that's as far as I could go. And then one day I said, okay, I need to know. And actually I was a little scared to weigh myself because I wasn't doing the best as far as eating wise. I was being a little rebel and eating some things that are probably not the healthiest. So I was a little nervous to step on the scale. Um, I was really thinking that I was going to see the number go up. But luckily, I, I was actually, when I weighed in, I was at 215. So within that week that I stopped weighing, I lost 10 pounds. I don't know how, but I'm not mad at it. I'm not questioning it. But that was very exciting to see. So um, since then, I have lost, I'm now at 210, like I said, for a total weight loss of 53 pounds. I'm so excited um, to think that I am only 11 pounds away from my very first goal for me to hit Wonderland, as everybody knows, or everybody calls it, is just unbelievable because I can't even remember the last time that I was in Wonderland. But um, yeah, that's as far as how much weight I've lost. I don't know as far as measurements because I'm not really measuring, but you guys, I can definitely see it. Um, my old clothes don't fit anymore. I have maybe one pair of jeans that fit me. And those were what I used to call my skinny jeans because I hadn't fit in those jeans in over a year. And now they're actually loose. So I am so happy, so grateful for that. And another update is that I have started, and again, I'm gonna say this, I think I mentioned this in my last video, do as your doctor says. I am not a medical professional as far as like, I'm not a doctor. I, this is just from my experience. I have started drinking alcohol. Originally my plan, the doctor said no alcohol, I think for the first three months, but I started drinking at about like six weeks. I know, like I said, I'm not perfect. I am human. And how I reacted to alcohol was, um, I have not done straight shots because I'm just scared, honestly. <laughs> But I've had mixed drinks. Um, I've had margaritas, like skinny margaritas. I've even had Trulies, which are carbonated and I know are a big no-no, but I don't have them very often. Um, and one or two have me like on my ass. Like I've had a lot of them. A glass of wine will hit me. Like I've had three or four glasses of wine, which I'm not mad at because guess what? Now I'm a cheap date. So my husband is lucky. <laughs> but um, yeah, that is it as far as alcohol. Um, I've started drinking it. The first time that I had something to drink that was alcoholic, it just felt like a very, I felt a very warm sensation in my stomach. It didn't burn, it didn't hurt, but I could definitely feel the warmth. Um, and you guys, I apologize for my smoke detector. I need to change the batteries. So you'll be hearing that beeping throughout the video. Um, so yeah, that's a, a new update that I've started drinking alcohol. Again, I don't drink every night. I don't drink often, uh, maybe once every two weeks or so. Um, but yeah, that's as far as that. Um, I am now a lightweight as far as that. I used to be able to drink a lot and now I can't do that. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then my vitamins, I was not taking vitamins for the first, I'll be completely honest with you guys. I have not had vitamins for the first five weeks of this journey. Well, actually, I did for the first week, but the vitamins themselves made me so sick to my stomach that by the time week 
two, like maybe, yeah, I think it was right when I started my puree. I could not take my vitamins anymore. They made me so sick to my stomach. And I just didn't want nothing to do with vitamins, which again, don't do as I do. Do as your doctor says. Um, that was not something good. That's something definitely that I don't recommend anyone do. Skip out on your vitamins. But um, they were the, I think it's bariatric fusion, the chewables. They were just so powdery and just plain disgusting, you guys. So uh, since then, I've switched my vitamins. Um, I've switched all my supplements and I've been taking them now for a couple of weeks and I am in love with my vitamins. I feel great. I can definitely see the difference of being on vitamins and not being on vitamins. So if you guys want a video on what supplements I take as far as protein, vit multivitamins, iron, all that kind of stuff, let me know in the um, description, in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to do a video about all of my supplements. Um, and yeah, that is it as far as vitamins. I'm looking down because I actually wrote my notes. Um, I'm filming on my phone because my camera died. I forgot to charge it. What's new? Um, okay, as far as foods, what I can and can't eat, I'm at the stage where I can technically eat pretty much anything, um, but I am trying to make a little bit better decisions. I am not completely cutting out carbs. I am not completely cutting out. Um, I, I'm just doing everything in moderation. I, If I want something, I will have it. Again, in moderation, it's not something that I'm going to eat every day. I've tried to have pizza, um, and I don't know if it's maybe because the bread, like the crust is too doughy, but it does feel very heavy on my stomach. So I can do like a thin, crispy, like a thin, crispy crust pizza. That sits fine. Um, toasted bread. I try to do whole wheat, uh, multigrain instead of processed foods. Brown rice instead of white rice. Pasta. I'm doing lentil pasta, which is really good, actually. I, I'm not a fan of lentils, <laughs> but it's actually pretty good. Um, so I can pretty much eat anything and everything, of course, in moderation. And that's something that goes along with that is that one of the challenges that I've noticed that I've had is learning to eat slower before I can eat a big old meal in one sitting in like a couple of minutes and then just wash it all down with something to drink. I can't do that anymore, guys. So I am definitely learning to pace myself because if I eat too fast, what happens is I feel like the food will get stuck like right in here. And this is going to sound so weird and gross, but my saliva gets very thick, I guess, because it's trying to digest it. I don't know. But at that point, when it gets that bad, I would rather throw up, just get it out, and then kind of chill for a little bit, and then go back and eat and just kind of reset. Um, but because I hate throwing up, and I just hate that feeling because it is uncomfortable, it is pretty painful, and it's just a very uncomfortable feeling. Um, I'm learning to pace myself, eating slower, smaller bites. And then waiting in a good 20 to 30 minutes and then having my sips of whatever I'm drinking slowly. Um, so that's another update. I am fully cleared to work out. Um, I am a full-time employee and a full-time mom and also a full-time student. So my time is very limited. So I am not at the gym just yet. Um, I do tons of walking at work. So I know I get a lot of walking in there, but I do want to start walking around my neighborhood and the trail we have at least every day just to get a little bit more in because I don't really have the time to actually go to the gym. And I think I'm going to start doing like hit workouts at home, which I said in my last video and I still haven't done. Um, but that's something that I definitely do want to start doing. Um, and you guys, I would love accountability, an accountability person who like keeps my ass in check, like work out did you work out ask me about it call me out on it so i can actually get this shit done um and then again like i said i always want to touch base on the whole mental health aspect of it all um i'm doing great i'm feeling great i feel like my relationship with food is i'm at a good place with it i am seeing food as a fuel source instead of like a emotional happiness source i don't i don't look at food like i need it to make me feel good i'm looking at food as like okay i need to eat to feel myself to feel better um so that's pretty much where i'm at i'm feeling great looking great as far as you know how i see myself um i'm definitely nowhere near where i want to be but i am definitely every day getting a little closer and i just cannot believe that i'm only 11 pounds away from being in wonderland and hitting my first goal that's just mind-blowing to me. I cannot believe it. 
but um that is it you guys as far as my update um i don't really have much of an update since the last video um just that i finally broke out of that stall that i had which i'm so happy and grateful for and i am planning on doing a what i eat in a day video i know i've had a couple of requests on that i started filming it but i got super busy that i lost track so I, it's probably going to be um like a weekend what i eat in a day because what i eat in the weekend versus what i eat throughout the work week is very different because um i'm, I'm at home all day so i can definitely have a little bit more indulge a little more on the weekend as far as like have like an actual meal for breakfast as opposed to like my protein coffee that I have during the work week. So it's gonna be a weekend what I eat in the in a day video. Um, and then I definitely uh, would like to do a video as far as what I'm taking as far as supplements. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, let me know and I'd be more than happy to film that for you guys as well. And that is it you guys. Follow me on my social media, especially Snapchat. I'm most active on there and I will film like, um, I'll record like what I eat in the day kind of thing. So definitely follow me on that. I'll list it down here somewhere. Instagram, on Instagram, it's more like my personal page. So it's not really VSG related, um, which I might make one, but I don't know. That's just another account that I need to manage and I, I really have enough on my plate. So I probably won't, but um, yeah, follow me guys on Snapchat, Instagram, which I'll list down here. And that is it, you guys. I'm going to see you guys in my next one, which I hope is next week. Uh, I'm going to try to go get back to my weekly schedule. But that is it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, and hit that uh, bell notification so y'all get notified every time that I, update, um, that I upload an update video. And that is it, you guys. I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.